guys, welcome back to Nails with Courtney Crosby. I've just sat down and I'm about to do my infills with my hybrid acryl gel from Make Nails and Beauty. It turns out I've been pronouncing this wrong and it has an L after the acryl. So that made me feel a little bit like an idiot. But I've had these on for four weeks and I'll flash up the picture of my growth that I had. And I, when I filed off the gel polish, there was no lifting at all. So, um, ready to go. My cuticles are already in pretty good condition. Uh, so I won't need to do anything to those. I'm just going to go in and etch my natural nail plate where the growth was, and then I can get started. done. Now I'm going to oh, clean these off with some acetone. A lot of texts I see they don't wipe the nails off with acetone or isopropyl alcohol after they've um, filed them and it it just irks me because there's tiny little pieces of dust on there and I need to have a perfect clean surface to work with. So make sure that you get all the dust off and inspect each nail and make sure you don't have any little scraggly bits of cuticle hanging around. It's very important that it's a completely clean surface. Okay, so I have a new primer pen from MIC. I've never used a primer before. This is an acid primer, um, so if you give this a shot, make sure you don't get it on your skin. So the pen is quite handy because you can just draw it on and you don't have to worry about flooding um, the cuticle area. Excellent. That was really easy. So now what I have to show you is this really cool spatula pen. Um, it's going to be really handy for scooping out my acryl gel. What I also have is this little pot. How beautiful is this? So it has a screw lid and it also has um, a protector lid in there. So what I'm going to do is put some isopropyl alcohol in my little tub. And then I can use that for my acryl gel. How cute. And the lid will go back on and I can save it for next time. So here is the other end of the brush. It's pretty soft. Um, it's not too long. It should be pretty good for applying the product. So we need to do a base coat first. And the manufacturer of Acrogel suggests that you use a base coat. But if I'm honest, I didn't use a base coat on this hand and I used a base coat on this hand and they were exactly the same there was no lifting on either hand but I'm going to use this base coat because well if that's what the manufacturer says to do then that's what I shall do it's a really thick base coat it's not like um, a gel polish base coat it's really super thick so I'm just going to apply that over the whole nail even though these are infills I'm just going to go over the whole nail on all five fingers Okay, so I've put my base coat on and I've cured that for 60 seconds. 
This is the uh, Makeup Natural color. This was a 5ml tester pot that I got for $7.99. Um, it's UV LED cured, so you can cure it in your sun lamps. A lot of people have these. Um, I've done one full set of nails and one set of infills, and I still have quite a bit left. So you need this and some isopropyl alcohol and just uh, a paper towel or a kitchen roll. Oh, shit. Okay. It's very sticky when you take it out. So because I'm just doing infills, I've already got uh, my apex. It's not grown out too much. So I'm just going to apply a little bit just at the base of my nail where the growth was. So there, now that is done with that side of my brush. I'm just going to clean that off. How cool is that? Now I'm going to go in with my brush end um, and just get it wet in the isopropyl alcohol, but not too wet. And then I'm going to just mold this acryl gel into place. If it starts to get a little bit sticky, just re-wet your brush. And you can go back to just patting it into place. So as you can see, I only do very thin layers of this acryl gel. And I haven't had any problems with breakages. These are my natural nails. Um, so they're not really strong. quick was that unbelievable so that's my infills done I'm gonna pop that in the lamp to cure I'm gonna go for two minutes just to make sure that everything is set okay they are cooked now there is a tacky layer uh, so I'm just gonna wipe that away with some isopropyl logo I'm super happy with this product. It's just made my life so much easier. Um, if you haven't tried it yet, you can go and check it out at www.migshop.co.uk 
and you can get 10% off of that with my coupon code CC10. Um, if you want to check out the brush with the spatula at the end, I got it off Banggood. I'll pop the, the link for that in the description below. And the same as this little pot. Um, it's going to be really handy if you're using poly gel or acryl gel or anything that requires a slip solution. Um, you could probably use it for monomer as well, but it's made of plastic. Um, I personally use glass for monomer, but it's got a little safety lid and it's got a screw top as well. So you can just close that up and that will keep your isopropyl alcohol from evaporating until the next time you use it. So those are those two things. This has a lid as well. That's the wrong end. So that will keep it safe. Now I'm just going to give these a wee file. As you can see, because I got to put it wherever I wanted it before I cured it, there's not much shaping that I need to do. So I'm just going to Give it a light file. And make sure that the, the cuticle area is nice and flush. When I do enhancements, I make the cuticle and the sidewall areas paper thin. I seem to have best results with that. I know a lot of people like to have a little bit of a bump there, but I personally don't like that. Um, but whatever works for you, you can do it whatever way you want. Now, if that's not the easiest set of infills I've ever done, I'm going to clean them off again. Now these are ready for design. I have no idea what I'm going to do to them yet. I've got some holographic foil that I want to try. Um, there's quite a few different designs. So I think I might go with some of this. I don't know yet. I have my other hand to infill. <clears throat> so I'll have to decide while I'm doing this hand what I'm going to do and then I will make another video for you guys. So check out MIG, you can get your acryl gel from there, and the Banggood store for your brushes and this beautiful little handy dandy pot. Thanks for watching and I will see you shortly.